All right, guys. The last time you saw me, I blew up my BMW. Um, <laughs> uh, we're gonna keep that car covered for a little while. I don't want to look at it. Uh, I really, really want to get that motor built. That put a lot of time in that freaking car. It deserves a run. Just gotta figure out the finances first because built motors are super expensive. But speaking of built motors, I have one for an so <laughs> That's a good plus. If you guys don't know, because I saw it a lot in the comments, it, uh, I know it hasn't been mentioned in a long time because we spent so much time working on the chassis, but. We do have a built KA for an Asana. We got this thing a couple months ago. So this thing has fully forged internals. It has piston rod set up, it has valve springs and retainers, and it has aftermarket cams and everything. So this motor is ready to go. So it should not suffer the same fate as E36, so I'm really pumped on that. But I spent all day yesterday tying up some loose ends, getting it ready to actually get in the car. So as it sits, we could put this thing in the car. All we have to do now is get the transmission set up ready, which we'll talk about a little later on. But we got the subframes back from Shoreline Powder Coating and they look beautiful. We already threw the front tension rod brace in and it looks amazing. I think the color was perfect with the red. So now we can start throwing this stuff in the car. I'm gonna hold off on the rear just cause I wanna get it painted inside first, but the front, we can throw it. So I'm gonna shut up and let's just start assembling this car. I don't really have much of a goal today. I just wanna start bolting things into it and uh, getting it together. Okay, that's not the move. <laughs> there we go. Oh, so scared to scratch any of this. Okay, quick glance. This is. Oh my god. Dude, that looks so sick. Look at that. Oh my god, Mike. We're forgetting something. What? I'll be right back. Oh. <gasps> All right, you guys all asked for it, so I had to do it. Ready? Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that? That's amazing, dude. Oh my God, that's hilarious. To complete our Gizmo power brace, last piece. Authentic. When you order your part on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. that. All right, guys, so the front stuff firms in, which means we can throw the whole front suspension in, hopefully indefinitely. So if you guys haven't been around long enough, we have BC Racing coilovers for an S13. Super happy to have these on the project. Amazing coilovers, it's gonna make the car feel amazing. Then we have our Villains Drift Knuckles, which these are modded factory knuckles to have more angle and uh, a better steering feel, which is pretty cool. And then on top of that, we have S13 ISR tension rods, and we have stock S13 uh, lower control arms extended two and a half inches. So we have five inches overall wider track width in the S13, which is crazy. So, it's bolt them in. Big moment. Ugh, this is so heavy. Oh my god. Five's lifting it goes extra uh, tall. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna raise it, all right? <laughs> Help. <laughs> Shove it through. That's good enough. All right, Alex, you got. You want me to hold that? <laughs> okay, we're good. Where's the damn tripod? <laughs> Sick. Oh, that looks so freaking cool. I know we've already seen this like install before, but having everything painted and everything, um, dude, that looks so fucking cool. Dude, everything's new. Everything's nice. It doesn't look like. Are we? Are we going to SEMA? Get out of here. We're going to the track, that's where we're going. It's crazy because it doesn't look out of place. Like everything looks so normal in here right now. It's so weird to see this. And then this looks so awesome, all painted in one color. Love that, so sick. All right, let's take a second for some solid B-roll of this setup right now with some good old music on it because this <laughs> looks way too freaking cool. This guy, what do you think, huh? Oh, well, fuck. that was the meanest mug you've ever given me. <laughs> what do you want? Just tell me, what do you think? It About was, what? Look at it. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you, that's all I wanted. Okay. Little update on Brian Hall's life here. Uh, we never said it, but Brian blew his turbo to pieces in the Mark II. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> a bunch of you guys are like, I told you you were going to, the two stuff's gonna play. Well, it did, and we knew it was gonna happen. That turbo, listen, that engine has like 170,000 miles. 
We knew that turbo was I hurt. didn't expect any of this to live for that long. I found my KO3S, and then Jip found my KO3S. So we have two KO3Ss. Brian wants to use Jips because it's nicer. Yeah, but it has a broken stud. And so I'm trying to get the stud off, but it's been a pain in the ass, which is stupid. So hopefully you get that set out and your car will be running. If not, I'm using that one, so we'll see. KO3S though. Yeah, well, it turns out my turbo is always a KO3S. Yeah, but it was hurt. Oh, yeah, stupid hurt. So, whatever. Either way, I got Brian a backup turbo so we could blow this one apart too with his two steps. Sounds good? Yeah, I can leave the 20 PSI tune on and just break everything again. Love that. So, next step to Nasanda, since the front end is like already on, uh, is to getting the engine inside of it. So, the engine's all set. This thing's beautiful. I completely neglected the fact that I need to put a decent trans on it, and I have a couple but the word decent doesn't apply to any of them. So we have the junk ass one that came on the mock-up motor. And then we have these three, which uh, this one came on the built motor. This one came on that blown head gasket motor from New Jersey. And then I actually have one outside in the Subaru that I got from someone in New Hampshire that looked like it sat outside for 10 years. So I have four junk, dirty, nasty looking KA trans, which are all weak to begin with. And um, we have to pick our favorite one. And I'm gonna go with the one that came on the built motor. Uh, just because that kid knew what he was doing. So we're gonna take this out and we have to wash it. I, man, this thing's just g gross. It can't, it can't go in the car like that. So uh, let's pull out the power washer and get this thing just cleaned up. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh. Cool. <laughs> All right. Why does my shoulder hurt? You're old. You're old. Yep. Yep. Getting old sucks. Your camera's dying. I'm dying. We're all dying. We're all dying. Day by day. Uh, so this one's actually not too, too bad, but it'll definitely clean up a lot more. Oh, check this thing out. It cleaned up so good. It's like 1998 in this bitch. Check it out. I'm so happy. All right. You changed your stud? Is it yeah. already in? Oh. Damn, that could kick your ass, huh? What? No. I, I just peed. <laughs> oh. What? That was it. Peeing kicked his ass. Come on. What? All right, whatever. Check it out. So. I have it bolted up to the wrong hole because I got a bolt of oil. Oh, I see. You. Stuff. That's cool. Look at that dampener, though. I wonder if we're going to lose some turbo noise from that. Uh, allegedly. So what? Uh, this thing makes enough noises. Well, that's good. That's good news. Cool. Turbo is almost in. Well, that you, it's held in by one bolt out of like 60 on a freaking stupid bolt. Keep it up, bro. Proud of you. Doing great. Uh, I don't even know where this came from, but throughout buying all these transmissions, I ended up with an ISR short shifter. And uh, we're going to throw this thing on there, obviously, to make it just feel a bit nicer and sportier. So definitely a must. <laughs> Damn, bro, you should get an OnlyFans. Stop. <laughs> Rip. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> How's it going there, kid? Uh, just buttering her up. Well, sounds good so far. Well, the turbo seems just as loud as before. See the torque steer on that thing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Love that. That works. <laughs> Am I bleeding? Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, stop smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Just took it? it? Yeah, I fixed it. You literally stopped smoking. It's like the tune equivalent of taking a hammer to it. <laughs> Alright, quick alignment. Let's go beat the shit out of this thing. So Brian gave his car a bump steer correction kit and never given alignment, so it felt like trash. So we just gave it a quick alignment and should be feeling pretty good right now. Hope he's happy. Oh my god. Can't tell if that was a happy pull or a mad pull but 
Thing sounds crazy. I don't know if it's me or what, but it sounds different. Hey, it does sound a bit different. The other turbo was definitely hurt. It's definitely like, uh, it's coming on my boost like a little bit sooner, which is really surprising because yeah, the other one spooled so quick too. It definitely sounds happier. Yeah, the alignment is way happier. That's good. Oh no, this feels this feels so much better. Holy right? crap, yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh yeah, no, I would say that I would definitely say so on that one. That feels good. It feels real good. Let's see the third gear. Third gear, okay, let's see it. Oh god yes! <laughs> Holy crap! Dude, that's so much better! It had to pick up at least 20 horse. No Jeez. doubt. No doubt. Well, I, now I'm starting to wonder, like, so before I just assumed, like, I was maybe getting fuel cut and everything past second gear, because the thing wasn't making steam in third and fourth at all. Yeah, and, and it kind of broke up a little bit. I know, she's actually making some steam. Jesus! Oh my god. You're an animal, dude. This is so fast. <laughs> like I know you guys have only seen like pulls of me in the past and she's just freaking out, but I'm telling you, this is Yo! Gee, I can't even hold the camera. <laughs> this thing is way too fast. This thing doesn't make any sense. It's I think it was only making uh let's see, watch the boost gauge. Yeah, we should look at that. That's the red light, huh? Oh yeah, we're making less boost. Yeah, it definitely made less, so I wonder if there's a little leak. So it's making less, Jesus Christ. So it's making less boost, but it feels faster, which is just amazing. It's still spiking 20, so I'm sure it's not the turbo, it's it's a leak. But I mean, it spiked like 23 before, didn't it? Uh, I have no idea. I think it spiked over 20 last time. Okay. Low Civic. All right, so we got it cleaned up. We got the shifter on. Uh, we got the S13 speed sensor in, and I threw the training mount on real quick. So now the trans is officially ready to go. Uh, the last thing we have to do is add a new throttle bearing, grease it all up, and then we have to throw the clutch and flywheel on the engine, and uh, everything is officially ready to go inside Nasada, which is crazy because I am dying to see all the nice new shiny stuff in this car. Plus, I'm excited knowing that it's gonna be the last time we have to put it in for a long time at least just hopefully ever, I guess. Um, Cause we have put the motor in and out of this car a million and a half times, all the mock-up parts. This is finally the time we can actually put all the nice new stuff in. So I'm sorry, but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. Uh, we got a decent amount done today, I'm really happy. The whole front end is now in, it looks amazing. I still, I can't get over it. I know I feel like I just keep reacting to everything, but like it's gonna be a long time until I get over this car because this is just way too freaking cool. Like even look at that, like this is just unreal. With that, I'm happy for today. And then tomorrow will be huge to finally see everything in the bay. So, but before I end it for today, uh, Brian just went out in the Mark II uh, for a test drive and he found a bunch of boost leaks and he just fixed all of them. So, uh, it's been a gone for a little while. So he must be having fun. <laughs> what do you think, any better? Yeah, it's, uh, it was definitely holding more boost. It was like holding 15 there and spiking 20. Nice. Look at this kid smile. Because <laughs> the way Brian drives, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> he's an animal, isn't he? <laughs> he's nuts, In this thing, he's insane. He drove it the same way, though, when it made 80 horsepower. Yeah. I can't imagine Brian in like a 500 horsepower <laughs> Dude, just let me drive one. I'll give you guys uh, a show. <laughs> he's nuts, dude. This is, I wish I had a GoPro on DJ's face. I love it. When he did the pull over there, I was very impressed. I wasn't expecting it to be like that quick. It actually moves. It's fast as it hell, isn't it? It goes good. It goes really good. Dude, that's it. A, a decent amount of horsepower, tiny little car. <laughs> Well, I'm happy it's working great because I can see Brian's in a great mood. That car is something else. But it's funny because sometimes it really is just the simplest setups that bring the most joy. You know, all I can smell is brakes from this thing. <laughs> They're smoking, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's called going fast. Fuck it. You guys thought I was lying. Oh my god. What were you doing with this thing? 
doing like a hundred. He took me for a ride, dude. He took me for a ride. Aren't one of your tires flat? <laughs> Yeah, one of the rear. He's taking corners at like 80 in this. <laughs> I know he's a psychopath. <laughs> Shit's all rattling. I'm like, I'm gonna die today, but I'm okay with it. She's good to go, boy. We have to bring this thing to an autocross event, about. just sitting That's like this. I'm surprised it handles as good as it does. It, it really needs a new set of coilovers oh. eventually, but I don't know if the thermostat's open here. Or it's just bleeding air, huh?